guys this is Vladislav from D5T5 and today we have a brand new Volvo V90cc model year 2022 this car we bought for development it's a beautiful car with a lot of changes inside mainly the infotainment is a, is a brand new system based on Google Android it's not really finished from the Volvo side but I hope the engineers will develop the, the, the updates very soon uh, and it will make the car much better so uh, we, we purchased this car for our development because the car is locked with uh, 180 kilometers per hour limiter we already unlocked the car so I will make a video uh, how to unlock it and we all, of course we, we will add the steering wheel with pedals because you cannot order the car uh, if, if it's diesel or if it's cross-country you you're not able to order the pedals so I bought the bought the original steering wheel with pedals here it was a little bit surprised that uh, the steering wheel comes without pedals it comes only only like this it does nothing so you have to order the pedals extra you have to order this have one open so extra pedal and also the wires oh the wire is here wires and also the screws and you have to take these buttons from the old steering wheel so it's quite expensive but if you want to have a pedals you have to do this on this car I already changed the configuration so I will go to the German highway and uh, I will make the video but uh, for now you can see I set the, the service reminder interval to uh, to 10,000 so now now I have to go after 7,352 kilometers to the service and the car has on the odometer it has only 2006 149 kilometers so it's a uh, it's a 10,000 kilometer uh, interval so now now I'm going to find some highway and uh, I'll hey guys we are in Germany I'll the German highway and uh, we are going to test the speed limiter speed limiter is already unlocked so I went to the Volvo dealer for a steering wheel replacement so we bought this very nice steering wheel with pedals but the pedals doesn't work at the moment it works only with, the, with this shifting knob the pedals doesn't work so now I have to go uh, back home and I will reload the car configuration 
uh, and uh, then we test again. So I'll let you know when it's done. So uh, yesterday we mounted the steering wheel with pedals and today I activated with uh, V-Dash. Uh, it's our software for configuration. Uh... It's great that you don't need to touch this for changing the gears you can just easily I show you how it works uh, in a in real driving so I'm going to drive now okay guys so uh, I have approximately 20 kilometers uh, with these pedals and I finally find, found out it works and it's just brilliant uh, if you have it uh, in an automatic mode and uh, you push the pedal uh, it stays in the automatic mode but with uh, the start stop function off and uh, the, the shifting is uh, a little bit more aggressive it's, uh, it's much better so I really recommend this uh, because uh, you cannot activate this function with this with this uh, shifting part so it's, it's something different uh, and I, I, I never had this function in this car it, it came with the pedals so I really recommend this you can see it's it's shifting itself I I'm not doing anything you see it have a fold gear itself now I will stop and see the, the start stop it's uh, it's crossed now you see it has uh, till the start stop it is off and now it came again on if you stop the car and then you start drive again it jumps in full automatic mode but you can you can put it back just with touching the, the pedal I really like it. It's great. Hey guys, uh, I think that's all. We changed on this car car configuration with uh, Vidash. We removed the speed limit uh, 180 km per hour and move it, we move it to 250 uh, km per hour. Uh, we changed the configuration for the steering wheel. Uh, we implemented uh, the pedals these guys uh, and we changed the uh, the service reminder interval from 30,000 kilometers uh, to only 10,000 kilometers because I think it's better for the engine uh, so uh, we did this all with uh, V-Dash uh, only uh, with the dice and OBD socket it's not needed to remove anything from the car it's just a software way uh, so but uh, it's not that easy to to change it uh, so you cannot do it uh, at your home because most probably you don't have the pin for the car so uh, if you want to remove the the speed limiter uh, please go to the dealer and uh, he will do it for you uh, you can find the dealer with the d5t5.com site uh, there you can uh, check uh, that you can uh, or not uh, you, you, you can check the checkbox uh, that you need to uh, change the configuration so go to d5t5.com site and uh, you will see what you need 
so that's all uh, I will create more videos with this uh, model uh, 2022 because it's a brilliant car only the Android system is not really finished so we will see what uh, what Volvo will update here so I think that's all thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye